Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Steve. <laughs> it is Monday morning. It is the day before Donna's birthday, everybody. You should tell her happy birthday in the in the chat. Thanks. <laughs> uh, today we have some fun things to show you. Some really good things. Some not so good things. Not some not so good things. Some not great things uh, to ship out. It's all we got, good things. We got, it's all good things. We got 25 things to ship out, but five things are going to one person and two things are going to another person. So it's probably like 19 packages, I think. Um, today's topic we're going to talk about, we're going to explain to you why you should not drink an eBay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little That's story probably, to tell from the weekend. Not us. We didn't drink an eBay. We didn't drink an eBay, but I have a strong suspicion that somebody... Did some drinking and some eBay, and but we will go over that in a little bit. We have five states on our map left. We have I have not looked ahead at these to see if any of them are new, so it will be a surprise for me as well if there are. Yeah. So we're pulling for new states, and you know who knows what else we'll talk about. But let's get into it. Let's start pulling orders and let's get going because it is a big day today, right? Yes. Got a lot going on. We do. All right, let's go. So we went to grab the first thing and we just got a message on eBay. I'm like, oh, what's this message? And man, we messed up. Something from the fire buy that we thought was brand new. Sold for like $60, I think. And they received it and it was not brand new. And I do believe them because I didn't check it, but I didn't really want to open it because I thought it was brand new. But um, the water level is a water globe and the water level did look a little low, but I thought, well, you know, whatever, it's probably fine. But Anyway, feel really bad um, about that, but we refunded them, sent our apologies, and we'll be definitely more careful next time to not just assume that they're new or whatever. So anyway, that's all you can do. You make a mistake, apologize, refund, move on, and get to pulling the next orders. We forgot to say who we were. We forgot to say who we were. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. Uh, we're having our treasures, full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. <laughs> and if you're new here, um we've got a lot of subscribers lately from a storage unit video oh my goodness here, thank you thank you thank you for all of you new subscribers it is amazing and i hope you continue to watch because we're gonna have some fun yes we are so all right back to the polling okay all right first thing donna is a clothing item that should be hanging Ooh. on your door <clears throat> because it hasn't been like put away in a box yet this is a tahari blazer is that new with tags? It is. And that is new with tags. I'm sure of it because there's the tag right there. There's our proof. <laughs> uh, that was a clean out. And that sold for $49.99 and is going to Illinois. All right, Don, next up is box H. H. Right there. We're going to grab a smoking pipe. Smoking. And this should be in a, um, should be in a bag that says freehand. <clears throat> you can find a freehand one. Bravo. Free hand. How do I look, Mom? Say it again. How do I look, Mom? <laughs> yeah, I don't think your mom mm, would like how you talk. look. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is a free hand pipe, and that sold for $15. And that is going to Tennessee. Okay. Yep, already on the board. <clears throat> Next up is in box 104. This is a good sale you just listed last week. 104. Okay, this is a lot of six. Jim Shore. Jim Shore. The ones with the beads and the buttons. It's a cross stitch lot. Yeah. And this sold for $44.99. Jim Shore. And this is going to New York City. Nice. And it says repeat buyer, so I wonder if it's the one that bought all the other Jim Shore last time. So cool. if it was and you see this, thank you. Uh, next up, Donna, is box NN. Back behind the stuff there. Mm -hmm. There's a teacup. Should be wrapped up. It should say number 103 on it. Oh, right I thought it there. was behind the big box. No, you should be able to just grab 103. What's up? I said, I wonder who thought of numbering these box, these items in the boxes. A really smart person. Yeah. All right, let's see this tea, teacup and saucer set. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Yeah, teacup and saucer. With sold, the... sold for $17, and that is going to Illinois. 
All right, Donna, in box 104, is that the box we were already in? Yes. All right, 104 in. I'll check and see if there's any more 104s. All right, right there it is. That is a Boosilla. Is that how you yep. say that? Cross stitch. Boosilla cross stitch sold for $11.95. And that is going to New York. And it's a. Same person? It's a repeat buyer. So let's check and see if it's the same person. It is. The same person will be getting both of these. So nice. that's awesome. All right, next up is in box 18. And this is an old item we've had for a long time. There's a couple of those things today. We were just talking about old items this morning ourselves. <laughs> yeah, this is a blue, little blue glass bowl vase thing. It's probably in the white paper, honestly. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, right there. $6.99. This has been on for it's a little creamer. A long, long time. Got it for a dollar, it says. And she's gorgeous. And she's gorgeous, and she's going to California. She's heavy, she's pretty. All right, the next item is mine because this is why Donna doesn't ship. She doesn't <laughs> want to ship this. Oh my goodness. There we go. I do not want to ship that. Uh, this is the ping irons that we got two weeks ago. Yeah. G30 pings on senior shafts and these sold, I paid 150 for them. They sold, I took an offer for $300. So these are gonna go out today and they're going to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. South Carolina. If you're wondering how I ship these, I'll show you really quick here. So I keep all my, all my old uh, paper boxes I get from U-Haul and there's only seven clubs total, I think. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'll use two of these. I'll Franken box them together. I'll wrap the heads in the small bubble wrap to protect them. I'll just put plastic over the shafts and then I'll have three of them one direction I'll cut out spot for the you know for them to fit together and I'll put three one direction for the other direction and Franken box these together and that's how it will go out. How ingenious. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. It actually it actually won't be that difficult of a ship. I just moved the clubs <clears throat> so that they don't all fall on the floor and we're trying to do stuff. The next one is from a viewer. And the viewer bought five different things. Let me go get the book. Okay, we got an offer on a Disney pin. We have a book of Disney pins. Not a lot of them left. We got an offer on a Disney pin and I looked at it, but it's from a lady named, I believe, Anne, A-N-N-E, from California. And she said, I watch your videos on my daughter's channel, on your YouTube. So it's a viewer and she went on and she actually made offers on five different Disney pins. And so I obviously gave her the combined shipping and we're gonna pull the five pins, but thank you so much for watching our channel because we super appreciate it. And thank you for the purchases. So that's awesome. Let's see what we got here. Here we go, the lot of five pins. And thank you so much, Anne, for your purchase. Is that all we have? This is it, this is all that's left. We're down to five pins. This was a full book when we started like two years ago. Five pins left, you guys. And there are five pins left. There might be a rogue pin in a box somewhere or two, but this is it from this book. Uh, next up, we have a purchase from a garage sale about three, four weeks ago. Really good sale here. Right here, we got a pair of Oakley men's. She wants me to smile and I'm trying not to, just awesome. for her. <laughs> Uh, Oakley Men's Assault 2 boots. Ooh, Look at them. Pretty cool nice. boots. Those suckers are new and they sold for $109.99 and they are going to Virginia. We don't have any new states so far. Yeah, no new states. It's kind of a rough go. Uh, I'm going to do like a couple more and we're going to talk about drinking and eBaying. I'm going to do two. I got two in the video game cabinet, so I'm going to grab these. Two separate purchases. I just listed these Saturday, two days ago, and they both have already sold. First up, this was in like, I think the last game, last video we showed, Minecraft sold for $11.50. And I'm sorry, $12.50 and it is going to Missouri. And then after that, this uh, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom game sold for $35. And it is going to Florida. So those two are going out. 
Now, we have something we want to talk about and something else we want to talk about. So we have a couple things we want to talk about. You guys, we got mail again in our mailbox. And it's a letter. It's, you just got a letter. <laughs> <laughs> it's from our friends, Jess and Zena. And it was just a cute little card with a cute little message and their thank you card and their stickers you guys yes yeah, so shout out to jess and Zena resale to ride they're in oklahoma and they are friends that we met at the what was it called planes to profit planes to profit so thank Check you guys out for the their mail. channel and thank you for the stickers and thank you for the mail yeah it was it was i ran to the post office by myself and we don't check the mailbox very often since we got it we've only gotten one letter in it and I'm like, I'll go check it. And I opened it and there was a card. And I'm like, oh, I wish Donna was with us. But hey, if you want to send us mail, there is our address right there. It's also in the description of the video. You can send us something too. And you can see that excited <laughs> face. <laughs> All right, let's talk about drinking and eBaying. They say that you shouldn't text drunk. You shouldn't ever drive drunk, of course. You shouldn't text and you shouldn't drive. Text you shouldn't text exes. Drink <laughs> you shouldn't. And drive. There's a lot of things when you're drinking you shouldn't do. And I really think that eBaying is one of them because you may make purchases you don't want to or whatever. This was a situation where they already kind of made a purchase and I'll go through this thing. It's a little bit of a story. Story time with Steve. All right, so you, if, if you guys watch the channel, you know we've bought a pink TI-84 Plus Texas Instruments calculator and I have it on for $34.99 plus shipping. So Friday night at 11.45, it's almost midnight, I get a message and the message asks, would you take $30 free shipping? I was, I think I was already in bed or going to bed or something, so I didn't respond. And then the next day, uh, at in the middle of the afternoon, they asked, or twenty-four dollars plus six sixteen shipping, which is the current calculated shipping. So it'd basically be thirty dollars free shipping either way, right? So I didn't respond to these messages, and the reason I didn't respond to these messages is because I was busy. You know, well, you guys know that we're very busy and we're doing stuff. If it would have been like an actual offer, I would have obviously responded to that, either take the offer or counter offer. I didn't respond immediately to these messages because first of all, I didn't want to take that deal because basically they're asking for like $10 off. So basically it would be like, you know, whatever they said, $24 plus shipping. And I was asking 35 plus shipping. I didn't want to take that offer. I didn't want to go under $30 with shipping on top. So I didn't respond just because I was doing other things and then you kind of forget about messages and it wasn't an actual offer. So I thought, you know, I, I, my intention was to respond later, but I just never got around to it. So they sent the message at 425, about $24 plus 616 shipping. A few hours later, I still hadn't responded. A few hours later that night, Saturday night, they sent an offer of 26 or $28 plus shipping. So when I saw that offer come up, it was less than I wanted to take. But I thought, well, they keep messaging. They did come up a couple bucks. You know what? I'm just going to be nice. I'm just going to take it. It's okay. Like, no big deal. Whatever. So I took it. And I'm thinking, I just did that. And I was just a nice guy about it, right? Saturday night, at some point, I went to bed. At some point, Donna went to bed. We were asleep. And it comes across... At 2.46 in the morning, this is where I'm guessing the drinking came in. At 2.46 in the morning, they message, Hello, are there any defects on the screen? At 2.47, they say scratches, dents, etc. Then, at 3.39 a.m., which, okay, to be fair, I think they're in California, so it's only 1.39 a.m. their time. But for us, it's 3.39 in the morning. They say, at 3.39 a.m., Hello, I've been trying to get a hold of you for two days, but no response. I would like to cancel the order, please. And it was already paid for. Like when they, when I accepted their offer, of course, it then charged them. So it was already paid for. So at 3.39 in the morning, they want to cancel the order, please. This was the first thing I saw when I woke up and I first checked my phone was the messages. I just checked first thing I saw, oh, message. So I checked it. I saw this. And my thought was, okay, I mean, you're messaging in the middle of the, middle of the night. I don't care, whatever, I'll cancel the order. It's less than I wanted to take anyway. I was just kind of being nice. So I go to cancel the order and I see there's a message 
and it says the buyer filed a payment dispute on this item saying be and the reason they have filed it as a payment dispute is because they haven't received it yet they just ordered it the night before and they filed a payment dispute instead of requesting a cancellation as a buyer you can request a cancellation and you know just change your mind whatever you want to say and ordered by mistake is what they usually say and then i would just cancel it or as a seller since they messaged and said hey i'd like to cancel this i can just say buyer requested to cancel and that'd be it but no they filed a payment dispute with their bank their financial institution in the middle of the night and so now I can't even cancel the order because I have to respond to a uh, payment dispute. I'm like, what the heck? So now I wake up, I'm a little frustrated because I have no trouble canceling the order, none at all. But why would you file a payment dispute? Because now it says you haven't uh, they received the item. I haven't even shipped the item. You ordered it like eight hours before this. Like, what the heck? So... I sent them a message. I was probably a little snarky, so my apologies first if you feel like I was out of line or whatever. But I sent them a little message. I typed a little something up and I sent it to them. And I don't think I was too harsh, but I did get to say what kind of what I wanted to say here. This is my response to them. First of all, my apologies for not responding to your first two messages. It has been a crazy busy weekend and I intended to get back to you when I had a minute to handle some business. I wasn't willing to do $30 free shipping and was going to get back to you and let you know, but since you didn't send an actual offer, I didn't sense the urgency. So when you did send an actual offer for a little bit higher, I decided to let you have it for less than what I would like because you were patient and raised your offer a little bit. And then remember they asked if there was any scratches or dents in the screen, whatever. I said, there are three close-up shots of the screen so you can clearly see there are no scratches or cracks and there are close-up shots so you can clearly see no dents either. When you send messages like that at 3 a.m. my time, I am probably not going to see them until morning, which is the case here. Then out of frustration and you want to cancel the order, which I have absolutely no problem doing, only I can't do that because instead of simply letting me cancel the order once I woke up or you filing a request to cancel the order, you instead filed a payment dispute way more complicated way to get um, a way more complicated way to get a simple order canceled and now we have to wait for the bank and ebay to process this request which was so unnecessary my apologies for not being at your available in the middle of the night to respond to your request to cancel immediately and that was a little typo there but so that would like that was it and then you know what they did respond yesterday afternoon at four in the afternoon and they spent two long long things that i'm not going to read and it basically i kind of took it like well i'm smarter than you and i'm smarter than ebay and and whatever blah 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 and my only response to all that was no problem all is well have a great day because i'm like whatever the the payment dispute went through they were refunded the money it doesn't matter but the fact that you're messaging in the middle of the night and even at your time if you were in california you know they're probably never going to see this video it's like 1 1 30 in the morning and then you file a payment dispute that's why i think you might have been doing some drinking before you decided to do these things so was i wrong was i snarky what do you think do you ever get drinking and then do some ebaying do you ever make any purchases you regret do you ever make cancellations in the middle of the <laughs> night? I, I don't know. Just If you have any kind of experience or stories like that, please, please uh, be sure to share them because I find it interesting. But anyway, so we do not have a Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus to send out today because it was purchased and canceled within 12 hours because I was not Awake. ready to respond at 2, 3 in the morning. If you are a reseller and sometimes you want to say stuff that you can't say and you really want to say stuff. i never respond snarky i always respond professional polite no matter what that's probably the most snarky response i've ever given on ebay if you ever want to really just let somebody have it i'm telling you if you've ever heard of treasure hunting with jeebus that's a channel we watch he only does storage units um and yes i'm not wearing my ring i'm getting it resized in case you notice that we're we're doing good we have a good marriage um just getting it resized uh if you he's still married look look 
yeah, you there's can still, still see it. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever have those feelings where you really just want to let somebody have it over something stupid, I'm telling you, even if you don't like it, if you don't like treasure hunting with Jeebus and you don't like the channel and you know about it, you should really watch their last video that came out yesterday on Sunday. I mean, maybe a couple days ago when you see this. And it says something about I'm getting confronted or something, uh, accused or, or somebody's confronting me. That video, the entire thing is a back and forth with him with this person. And he does all the things that a lot of resellers would love to do, but you really shouldn't do. But it is absolutely hilarious. Don and I were just laughing and rolling because we know that when we get frustrated with buyers, when it's not our fault, when it's our fault, we absolutely like the return that we had earlier. That was my fault. I absolutely like, I'm so sorry. But when it's not our fault, like you want to say all these mean and nasty things and whatever. We always do the best that and we you want to be sarcastic. And I'm telling you, if you want to see something like that and you have a sense of humor, watch the last video from Treasure Hunting with Jeebus. Anyway, back to picking orders. We still have some more things to pick, and then we got things to do. I gotta get the stuff shipped. Okay, Donna, do you have any thoughts on that? She was just holding the camera. My arm is tired because you talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> see what? See the abuse? The absolute abuse that I put up with. He's so abused, you guys. So abused. Well, since your arm's tired, I'll put you back to work doing other things. Here you go. Go get box number thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. In box 39, uh, this is going to be a Homeco figure with Jesus the Fisherman with children. Right here. Right here is the figure. Pretty cool little figure there. And that sold for $15 and it is going to Florida. Yes. Okay, box 105 is next. Okay. In here you're going to find a set of salt and pepper shakers. There they are right there. Donna paid 33 cents for those at a garage sale and they sold for $14 and they are going to Pennsylvania nice. all right that box can go away and you can bring out box LM LM is next and here comes Donna with it right now it is a radio it's just a little new in package plastic in plastic radio that's it'll bitty little bitty I know just told sold for $6.99 it's been listed for a long time $6.99 plus shipping on that, and that is going to California, right there. All right, here comes box LT Donna grabbed now. And this is, sorry, there's people nearby, so our dog is barking. This is, doesn't say any letters or anything. Greenware wedding base, traditional design. It's the one with like two spouts on it or whatever. Yeah. This is a very unique piece right here. Check that out. That sold for $23, and that is going to New Mexico. New Mexico is already on the board. Are we not going to get a new state today? Let's see, it says Acoma. Oco, yeah, Acoma, I think. I don't know. Very cool. Very breakable. I'll probably be careful with that. <laughs> all right, Donna, box 106. Back in there. You're going to keep going in there, I think. I filled all these up this yesterday and the day before you're looking for another set of shakers right here nope not that one those stay in there oh. this is a set of brown and tan shakers salt and pepper shakers all right right there these are pepperware as well salt and pepper shakers there brown and tan and they sold for twelve dollars and 99 cents and they are going to new york okay let's go to box 91 somebody bought two different orders and they're in two different boxes so let's grab the first one Okay, in box 91, you're looking for Fiesta salt and pepper shakers. We're just going to keep doing salt and pepper shakers. Donna grabbed the other set as well. These are Homer Laughlin Fiesta salt and pepper shakers. There's a red set and a white set. The red set sold for $20 plus shipping. The white set sold for $15.63 plus shipping. And they are all going to the same person, and that is in Tennessee. Nice. All right, Donna, box A. Let me grab that. I can get it. Okay. All the way up there, reach. Reach for the sky. In box A, you're gonna find a lot of eight pink, purple, and blue frosted glass Christmas ornaments. These are pretty old. Not only are they pretty old, they've been on a long time. Right there. And those sold for $15.55. 
And they are going to Mississippi. Is MS Mississippi? MS is Mississippi, right? Are you sure? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think. MS is Mississippi, right? We're going to call it Mississippi. That is a new state. We're not really expecting to get any other new ones. Usually we wait till the end, Oops. but we're going to color Mississippi right now. Right here, right now. That leaves us four more. Montana, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Alaska. Come on. Come on, people. Come on, people now. Wouldn't that suck if MS wasn't Mississippi? What I'm, is I'm sure it going to be? <laughs> I'm sure it is because Missouri's M-O. Montana's M-N, I think, or M-T. Anyway, yeah, Mississippi is now colored. Woohoo! 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 Woohoo, okay. <laughs> okay, we're getting down there now. All right, box 24, Donna. We're looking for M-R-E. Meal number five. Number it's five. sold for fifteen dollars, and it is going to New York. Several New York chicken things today. Chicken chunk white. Chicken chunks white. Cooked. That's right. I hope they're cooked. Down to the last couple of things here, and one is in box one hundred one, and then one hundred four mm -hmm. is the final thing that just sold. So you can't fuss at me for going back to it. Okay. One hundred one. This is a Harley Davidson rubber foot insert. Should be that box right there. Oh this thing yep right there this sold for $25 and it is going to Wisconsin right there and then in box 104 will be the final thing this just sold as we were filming and it's right here it's just a little Vera Bradley a uh, little coin purse and it just sold for seven dollars and fifty cents and it is headed out to Indiana Ooh, that's all the things that's all the things so thank you all for watching like and, and subscribe and share with your friends and you guys thank you for joining us and subscribing we've yes. had 35 new subscribers last week yeah that's so pretty awesome, awesome for us yes for our little channel <laughs> so anyway donna's birthday tomorrow don't forget to say happy birthday in the chat how old will i be i can't remember she'll be like 42 yeah something like that <laughs> I have All to right. do the math, but I think and we go tomorrow morning, it's 56. Tomorrow morning we go to look at a possible clean-out situation that's like two hours from home. Oh, you guys, you want to so. hear a funny story? So our daughter asked, what are you doing this weekend? And we said, we're going to Superior to look at a house. And she about dropped her teeth because she said, what? She thought we were talking about moving out of town. Yes, because She's our... like, you can't move. We're like, no, 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 no we're not looking to buy a house. So. Oh, my goodness. So anyway, Good laugh. thank you for Love watching, you, everybody. I'm Steve. <laughs> I'm Donna. And we are Happy Heart Treasures. We will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.